Hey, uh, just when we're starting today, I just want to make a bit of an apology. I've got a little bit of acne. It's middle-aged acne. I don't know what it's from, but, you know, it just seems so unfair to be 45 and to be breaking out. I'm talking about breaking out, though. At the moment. I don't know if you've noticed that. For people living in Mullumbimby, and if you're coming to Mullumbimby, be aware. Mullumbimby is under siege at the moment. I think there's about one cop rostered onto every person in the town. I've never, yeah, I can't find one now. I'm driving around looking for cops, but they're hiding. I mean, they're everywhere, everywhere you go. It, at the moment, there are cops. Are, like, I got home the other day, there was a cop in my bed. You know, he was the one from the village people, so it was not bad. But he was waving his baton around, it was a bit scary. But, I, you know, I, I don't get this, like, been highway patrol everywhere. They're everywhere. They're literally, like, behind bushes. They'll be over here pulling people over. You know, it's like, I'm going, what's going on? Is there some sort of major kind of, you know, serial killer or some sort of, you know, is there a hostage situation or a siege? You know, what's going on? What have we done? Because clearly, we've done something. As it turns out, we don't, we're not compliant with a lot of things. We, we're very, very bad people here in Mullumbimby. Sometimes, look at this. Sometimes we, oh, I didn't even indicate. Didn't even indicate. I'll get highway patrol onto you. Just you wait. People sometimes like to come out. They like to come out across double lines. Very, oh, very killer behaviour. Other people, you know, look at the, the other people. Look, just reversing back into traffic. Just happy as. Yeah, off you go, off you go. Other people, see all this parking around here? It's two hours. Some people stay up to three to four hours in a two-hour zone. So I suppose you can understand why they've become down sort of so heavy-handed on, um, you know, on Mullumbimby drivers for the highway patrol. G'day, how you going? How you going? <laughs> Generally, we don't stop for pedestrians here in Mullumbimby. We just like to run them right down. Um, it keeps people on their toes. And, it, you know, it keeps, you know, houses on the rental market. Um, here you'll notice people like to, you know, they do like to sort of drive. It's very busy. But apparently our biggest thing, though, is apparently we have a lot of compliance problems with registered vehicles, and that's why they're here. I've heard along the grapevine they've found more unregistered vehicles than, than anywhere. And I think, isn't that funny? Here we are in Mullumbimby, driving around our unimmunised children in our unregistered vehicles. <laughs> I'll have you know that my children are registered and my car's immunised. But, just in case, I stopped for no one then. That was just ridiculous. It's because I've become paranoid. I've actually got this thing called, um, it's cop fear. I grew up in Queensland during the whole kind of the jockey era when they had, you know, special branch. And, you know, I actually had friends that were taken. They had cops sitting behind these glass... Oh, she's not touching the wheel. This glass petition at the railway station. They would pull you in for, like, a strip search and questioning, like, sort of like a nude impromptu trivia or something. Um, they never asked me in, but I knew all the answers. So you always had that feeling, like... You know that feeling, like, you've done... See, so didn't even indicate. Oh, not that doing one now, showing off. Um, that feeling like you're doing something wrong... Oh, there's a hippie in a purple combi. Look at her, hey? Oh, no. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, she's going to go across. She's going across there. That was illegal. <laughs> it's all right. She works at the Echo. <laughs> she's a um, But, you know, we don't register. You know, we don't. But you do have that feeling like when you see cops that you actually feel like you've done something wrong. Like, I'm suddenly thinking, when you see, like, so many of them, I'm thinking, shit, what have I done? You know, am I drunk? I'm going, no, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. You know, and have I got my seatbelt on? I go, no, I'm walking, I'm walking. I don't need my seatbelt on. I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm going, have I got 356 kilograms of, you know, cocaine on a yacht somewhere in Vanuatu? I go, no, no, no. You know, have I got something up my bum? I only a G-string, you know, and you know, maybe I could help with some retrieval of that. But apart from that, <sighs> I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. I can never remember. But I'll go left. But th that is the problem here, though. It's the unregistered vehicles. You know the great irony is? Anyway, like, who cares? It's just a couple of hippies driving their go-karts down to get tally hose, you know, and milk. <coughs> and the funny thing is, you know, you wouldn't register those cars anyway, that's the joke, because they're not, they're not roadworthy. <laughs> what would be the point of registering them? Although more people in unregistered cars would have better cars that could go through rego if the cops hadn't come so and so hard on all the uh, marijuana cops with all their choppers, etc. I mean, the green dollar's gone a bit dry, I think, of late. And, just not as much money. So in a sense, it's their own fault. But I don't know. It is. Oh, look, here we go. Man, now that's what we should be focusing on. 
you know what we should be focusing on is we should be policing the giant dog shits in town you know the, the long hugs and the, the people having these weird conversations using words abundance and stuff like that i'd be really happy if they had a crackdown on that oh, i hate this this crossing is so hard no one knows what to do here we all just kind of hope the best um I was actually going through periods, you know, and the cops, I don't know where they are today. I'm actually out looking for them and I can't find them. I'm not supposed to. Oh, am I? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I usually wait for someone to go across. She's turning there. I don't know. We're just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now, I did have a, like a time for a while where, you know, in this whole cop town we're living in now, which is like, it feels like harassment. Like, how can there be so many cops waiting to pick people up for nothing? You know, like not wearing a bicycle helmet or something like that's a major affront. You know, and the people, you know, I've seen them hassling kids. And you go, why are you hassling kids with bike helmets? Why don't you hassle, you know, the crack dealers or something? You know, no. And it, people say, yeah, bikes, you know, without helmets is a problem. And I suppose in a way it is. But so is big fat. You know, that's a health problem. And so is smoking a cigarette. So if there was a fat crack dealer smoking a cigarette, riding a bicycle, and the cops pulled him over, it'd probably only pull him over for like a helmet, not wearing a helmet infringement. <laughs> I'm gonna go right. What I was telling you is about this happened a while ago. During this whole time, which has been lately, I've had no left indicator. I've just got it fixed like a week ago. And <laughs> I haven't been able, I'm being so paranoid because I haven't been able to turn left in Mullum for probably three months. So I've had to, everywhere I go, I have to turn right. So sometimes to go home, I have to drive up past the hospital and do like an illegal U-turn so I can crack down left bank road, which is full left bank by doing a right turn. The other day, the cops did try and pull me up, you know, to pull me in for a random breath test. And then that was the other thing in Mullum. You used to be able to just drive seven beers. You could just, you drive home. You know, the thought of being pulled over for being drunk was, you know, <laughs> everyone was drunk or stoned. That's how they drive around here. Funnily enough, you know, they tend to make it okay. <sighs> but anyway, eventually the cops did try to pull me over. I couldn't pull in left because I had no indicator, so I felt it wasn't okay. So I had to fang it past them and park the car, ran away, and, you know, they sort of were after me. But I did end up, I found an abandoned bicycle, which I managed to ride home, but they found me eventually. You know what they picked me up for? Yeah, not wearing a helmet. <laughs> Dickheads! Don't show my rego, they'll come after me with their blinger. That's the other thing now, there's even a parking ranger in Mullumbimby getting people for two hour parking. What's going on here? People don't, people, two hours? That's not even your first copy of Mullumbimby. Nobody abides by rules in this town. It's obviously a brand new era. I'm just going to reverse across some double lines for fun.